How's it going, everyone? I'm the Swimming Tape, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. And potentially the last episode of this series. What could it mean? You Stan tell me. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, fuck it. Ah, Stan is lucky. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the dark Stan stuff that you've shown, I don't know if that's even true. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. I realize I'm not paying attention, right? Him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Nope. Never mind. The bucket, the bucket is always wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, good. Said the bucket. I'm not even now letting you finish. All the way to the top. I mean, why, why, why would I? Why I would I do, do that? that? Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and okay, he okay, that's not weird at all. The bucket asked. All right, what's over no, here? Stop. Look there on what? the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, "No buckets past this point." Stanley, how could you think it was Why? to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot uh, of behavior up to this point. Are you calling me stupid? If that's true. Well, my is, is that what we're doing? Are you, are you calling me stupid? This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Okay. I mean, I really hope I know what a bucket is. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simple enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Um, Let's begin. Okay. Item one. Is this a bucket? I mean, it looks like a bucket. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket. Not an actual bucket. And I'm supposed to know that how? Item two. Is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Again, how am I supposed to know that? Item three. Is this a bucket? You tell me this is like a piece of paper on a wall and I'm just hallucinating, I'm gonna kill you. Correct. This is a bucket. There we go, okay. Item four. Is this a bucket? That is not a That's a tractor. Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank hey. you. Hey! look like an idiot. Okay, next one. Okay, that was just rude. I mean, I know. Is this a bucket? Why do I feel like this is a trick question? No, in spite of yourself, I'm gonna say yes. Correct. This is a bucket. How is... Alright, I officially... I don't know what a bucket is. Apparently. Item six. Is this a bucket? <laughs> Verbal. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. How is that both? How is that both? Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see, it should be around uh, here. Somewhere. No. Yes. So 
Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course <coughs> is not true. Oh, Unless, goodness. Is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? I... Doesn't matter what I say. Y yes. That's, that's probably why I'm so confused. You know what? Everything is a bucket. I've lost all sense of perspective. Good. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Do hm. any of us know what a bucket is? An eye. A bucket. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid uh -huh. the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay. okay. Here we go. Just watch it erase the entire game. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Apparently you're oh, not a bucket. I have no idea. How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. No, I'm a people. Wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's to How? get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. Yeah. So I'll tell you what. I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And uh. we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what uh, that information might do to a person. All right, here we go. Okay, that was not weird at all. All right, there's one more thing we got to do and we should be done, I guess. That was not an ending I was expecting, though. I was expecting to hope to have, like, two more endings, but, like, I guess it's just... Well, no, I mean, three more endings. Red door, blue door with bucket, and... Well, you're about to see, but I guess... Can't bring the bucket along. Okay, All fine. All the workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Or maybe. Eh, whatever. Wait. I'm curious. Did Stanley? Does this do anything? Really, Stanley at all? No, no, surely. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Find the chair with the bucket in my hand. That's yeah. freaking weird. Ah, 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 there we go. Ah. Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. True. The what? It began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. What? The wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many uh... years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay. If only it had been stronger. Uh, and redemption and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man to manifest justice where none existed and the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway meted out in parcels like charity and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim the opportunities to do so much more there huh. was so much it could have done perhaps the bucket wondered to itself perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This what? was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. Oh, yes, boy. Said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vault. Huh? I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! Stanley this has a really weird voice. Why are we even doing this? 
Why are we even doing this? And screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power. Its fangs glistening like What? My god, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, uh. we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You So am I, but for a completely different Come, reason. What the hell? The game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket. Nor I can kick her with that. Cast away inside of it. Okay. Well, let's, um... All right, finally, I, I was wondering, okay, this is the last, I guess there were three more endings, okay. Moving on to the last one. We will never trifle with the bucket again. I made an oath to a narrator who uh, <laughs> I don't give two shits about, but you know. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? But yeah, that's, that I think this will end all the game. endings that but I'm aware of, at least. Stanley came to came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting. Stop room. bugging out on me, narrator. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I refuse. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Blah, 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 blah. I listened to you and not bring the bucket. Now shut up. Foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I don't I believe that. Investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No, nope, just zero consideration for you. <laughs> to happen to you. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me I'm not even going to lie, I knew this was here. And there it is, the last Stigley Wiggly. The last Stanley, this Stigley is a real accomplishment. Wiggly. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done <sighs> has its own reward. Uh-huh, yeah, tell okay. You I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. Hey! Instead, I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And what now the? we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I just... <laughs> Rude! Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. You know what? No, for that I'm walking through the blue one. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stop. No, I'm restarting. Something's telling me... I don't... Something feels amiss. Is that it? Did I just collect those things for nothing? Wait. What are the balloons? Oh. Oh, yeah, this is different. What the? Stanley, Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Things. It's just, it's those figurines. Those figures. What about them? I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't no, I've had that room with inner richness. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would <laughs> love nothing more than to revisit the figure. What? Just one more time. Sure. Why are we going back? To look at a bunch of little figurines that mean basically nothing. You don't even get an achievement for getting them. You literally nothing. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. 
Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We don't, I guess. We'll never be like that again, See? Stanley. See? There's more. <laughs> I, I... What? Hey! I'm frozen again. You hear that clicking? Yeah, game froze on me. There we go. Spamming buttons unfreezes it apparently. Oh my gosh. This has happened more than like. This happens a lot with this. I don't know why. I think Fox has extreme sniffles thanks to a boss. There we go. Oh, come on, man! Not you. I'll be honest. Back then I had no, no it's not the remote, it's the game. The game's but you really continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, you, unremarkable this. ways. Stop it! Okay, can I go now? Thank you. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini Sam? Can you remember? I think it was in the boss's bathroom, actually. Why'd I go in there? I don't understand. Neither do I know, neither do I care. Let's go. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was hey, the third one. You let me leave. Them, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. That's not true. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Um, no. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate. Oh, the please don't make one of those. It's a good thing this is the last episode. Because I get kind of sick and tired of seeing that. It takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Really? You'd rather waste eight minutes doing that? Okay. Ah, jeez. Enough freezing! This is a bad the final day, episode since it just breezes over and over again. Figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Perhaps because, because the most it recent. was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. I could think Except of several moments, moments that were better. The greens, which it was exactly like. Okay. Now what? You are in the present. Then, there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. That's it. That. Uh, 
No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just uh, go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that But goes. I don't wanna. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's Once again, I wonder why. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I don't know. Well, at least it's going fast. Yes, I love that video. At least it went by fast. So this room still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though. A solid room. Yeah. Simple enough. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I Not really. It would have been the reverse. The Next one. Like an elevator type room or something. I wonder what's over here. Oh, just deadness. Darkness. That's it. That's it. This was our second figure. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The Can I not freeze this time doing this one? Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Uh, that one. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figurines. Are we done? Oh, I want more men. No. Family. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Oh, my. We're back here. We're back here. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. <laughs> but time does put a rosy filter on everything. Well, I can't use it. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. The Look jump circle? Past days. I want more. More memories. Memories are nice and all, but, uh... The ones with you are kind of a pain in the hello. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Well, this one dates back to way back when. And the beginning of the game. And before everything else, there was your office. Yeah. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. I don't know. The developmental process? Maybe? Yes, I'm remembering something now. Huh? I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was just... Okay, this is intriguing. But it's also I freezing. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. Huh. We stopped freezing too. Lazy. And I came up with well came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. Wait a minute. I would cheer him on as he collected. So the game's telling me so this game wait. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes. Is the that's it. Boss? I to imagine I had Is the narrator the boss? Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. Go you! Get out of my life! I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's okay. go back just once. 
and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling the story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Etc. Etc. The end. That was an interesting way to close out the story. There is one more thing we could do, but it's just to get an achievement, and honestly, I don't care. Huh. Interesting way to lay out the story, though. Well, we're going to leave this here. Um, this was a fun series to do, but I... Every good thing has to come to an end at some point. And plus, the truth that broke my brain to the point where I'm just like, done. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and this series of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a an indie game you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. I've got a couple lined up that people want me to do, so I'll get to those at some point. Hopefully. Um, but if you want to check out one that's been done prior to this, click the link at the bottom right corner to train take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this right, click the link across my head here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!